I'm going to say something, and this is going to go out to a few people who might think, bloody hell, Kev, I didn't know that. I'm not a fan of Clarkson. He's a right-wing little shit. I grew up in Essex. I was surrounded by farms. And I've worked on a dairy farm. Okay, I worked in one up in Oakhampton, the Gilead Foundation. Some years ago, Noel Edmonds moved across the road. And he didn't like Gilead. And I'm not a great fan of it myself. It's a Christian community. So he wrote to Exeter Council to have them removed. Now Exeter Council wrote to him and they sent a letter to Ian. And I've seen it. Dear Mr Noel Edmonds, the Samuel family have farmed in this area for over 350 years. No. About five miles down the road is Ian's brother, Ian Samuel's brother. He owns a farm. About five miles that way is his other brother who owns a farm. His dad's got a menagerie. A menagerie, all right, because he's retired. Ian's wife, Bron, come from the other side of Oakhampton, and guess what they are? Farmers. Ian doesn't know anything else. Really doesn't know anything else. And he loves his job. Really loves his job. Really loves it. And you'll find a lot of farmers do. And they do actually care. For the land. They do. Believe it or not. Don't believe all the bullshit you've been told. Yeah, there are bad farmers. There are bad, bad grocers. There are bad uh, mechanics. There's bad carpenters. There's bad bricklayers. There's always going to be. They have the highest suicide rate in them. Ian had, three, I think, 350 acres of land. You're out on your quad, your phone's died, and you've injured yourself. How are you going to get a message back home to say you've injured yourself? Get it? Your first ever union was the National Union of Farmers. And before my Christian friends go, oh, they're just lefties, they won't. The Toll Puddle lot were six farmers. They were all Christian. It's an industry is so dangerous as well. There's there's so much danger, and you you we got given heads. They were all dead within two days because a fox did them. Now, I'm not for fox hunting at all, but if you're going to keep your animals, okay? I once asked a farmer, do you name your farm animals? And he went, yeah, that's my mortgage, that's my electric bill. No, I don't. It's about money for them because they don't get a wage like you. They get paid at the end. So then they've got to live on to, they go to that. Now, you, a lot of my vegan and... And and, and, and and people like that and all of that lot go, well, they can just grow crops. You can't, because you need good soil. Why do you think Somerset is the bread basket of the south of England? You know Glastonbury Tor and Glastonbury Tor Hill? You rode there. It was all under water. So there's lots of good nutrient soil. You need good soil to grow. So also, if you've spent, your family have spent 350 years. Now, Ian was a dairy farm and he had pigs and sheep. That's what he knew. If you went to him, right, you're going to start, you're going to have to start growing in a week. They'd go, how do you do that? It's literally like getting a mechanic who finishes, who fixes cars and going, here's an aeroplane. It's all the same in it. No, it's not. It's the same thing. And I, 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 I support farmers. I do. Because I'm from the Essex countryside. 
Do you, you understand? I went to school with people who, who live on farms. I'm surrounded by countryside. When I meet the Hunt Sablot, the first thing question I ask them, was you born in a city or town or brought up in the countryside? And if they go city or town, that's it, end of it. Because there's a different mentality. They employ hundreds of people that wouldn't get a job. And I mean that. They soak up a lot of people. So now you haven't got a job. Your farm's gone. The nearest big town's 20 miles away. You don't drive. Unless it's a tractor. What do you do? This is what it's about. This this whole thing about farmers and fishermen as well, which I support as well, it's all about taking away. They want you to work in a factory or call centre. They don't want you self-employed. They don't want you thinking for yourself. Because one thing you've got to realise is every, every farmer suddenly went, when I'm strike, how long would you last without any milk, dairy, meat, Crops, yeah, okay. This is what it's about. This government is taking more control over people. And as I said, your first union in Britain was the National Union of Farmers, and I believe the second one was fishermen. Now, I watch Clarkson's thing. That council, there's only one word for you, and it starts with a C, and it ends with a T. And you know what I mean. You're out of order. Seriously, seriously, seriously out of order. This is a personal attack. This is nothing to do with a farm, nothing to do with regulations, nothing to do with any of that. Any of that. This is a personal attack on Jeremy Clarkson. Even though he's a cock, and I think he's a cock, that doesn't make it right. Democracy and freedom of speech is for everybody. That's a, that's a part of the Human Rights Act. It's for everybody. I may not agree with his politics and his ways and manners and who he is and what he does, but he's still a person who has human rights. And that council are in the wrong. And if something should be done about that, someone should lose their bloody job. The head of that council, get rid of him or her and sack him. That's a personal attack. He, he, he talks to his advisor and said, we've never seen it. We've never seen this many people, this, anybody get this many no's. We've got to stand by with our farmers. We can't, we can't just keep bullying them and hurting them. They are so regulated and they are being fucked over. So I stand with all my farmer friends and farmers and fishermen because the other thing is you don't realise when they closed the mines down in Rhonda Valley they fucked the valley the shops, everything everything was fucked the knock on effect will be huge there's, thir- there's over 30,000 people in the meat industry How are you going to find them new jobs? Peace and out.